morning everyone we've just uh oh man that sun's strong we're just leaving our camp near Echuca on the Murray uh fishing wasn't great yesterday because it was just really windy so threw in the towel after five minutes it just made casting way too hard so yeah it was a nice nice quiet camp on the side of the river so um our final destination today is Murray Sunset National Park just south of Mildura but our first stop we're going to be stopping at Swan Hill and then head off to see a couple more uh, silos and um, yeah there's a few salt lakes to check out as well so that should be uh, that should be pretty cool oh yeah so the name of the camp is called Will's Bend it's a fairly large spot you just drive along the mirror uh, uh, on the you just drive along the river on the uh, Victorian side and there's a whole bunch of spots you can pretty much just find a clearing camp there a lot of trees around so if it's like a really windy day you should probably watch, watch where you camp um, but otherwise it's a real nice spot off to Swan Hill for a coffee and breakfast Uh, the giant Murray Cod. He's definitely a big boy. Just left Swan Hill. Um, ah, come on, man. <laughs> uh, we're heading to Murray Sunset National Park. That's where we're going to be camping tonight. Before we get there, we're going to head through Sea Lake, Patchy, Wallach, Wool, Woolup, Woolup. I don't know. I probably completely butchered the pronunciation of the names because uh, I fuck that. I don't know, but um, yeah, there's a few silos we're going to check out. And then head into the National Park, check out the Salt Lakes, uh, the Pink Lakes. Yeah, set up camp and hopefully it's another good night. So there is a fair bit of wind today, but hopefully it's like yesterday where it kind of drops off at night time. So. I'd hook the Trident up and uh, take this back to Sydney. You know, I think, uh, I think she'll make light work out of this. Yeah, we got the Sea Lake Silo Art. Probably one of the most incredible ones so far. So colorful and so vibrant. Really, really nice one. The drive in as you're looking towards it is just yeah, it's pretty it's pretty incredible man. Okay, check it out.
because I'm the youngest person in in this group, right? I'm uh, apparently the best, better one with technology. These old farts don't know how to operate technology, you know, with the Google Maps and all that kind of shit. So I'm usually front of the pack for most of these trips. Cons are far, far outweigh the pros. I've got to cop all the fucking bug splatter. But I'm the sacrificial lamb to cop all bloody potholes and call them out to the boys. A lot of these roads, there's a lot of real big potholes and, and whatnot. So when you hit them, a lot of times you don't see them. All this other shit, I will say the one good thing, if we're on dirt roads, I'm happy to be at the front. I don't cop any of the uh, the dirt or the dust, so that's good. The good and bad thing to be the youngest person in the, the group. All the older people, you know, ah, oh, you young people, back in my day. Oh well, this is the current state, learn how to use Google Maps. <laughs> Just turned into the Murray Sunset National Park now, so um, we're going to check out the the two or three pink lakes, and then go set up camp, have a coffee, and have dinner, have a few beers, and enjoy ourselves. So. I reckon this one might be better because there's a we got a fire pit on the uh, inside. Right. Even though I don't think we're going to be able to light it with this wind. Yeah, we might be heading around the torch. Maybe Gary's torch. Yeah, any heat we can get. I'll set mine up here. Oh, fuck! Oh. That wasn't nice. There, done, set. Let's get camp set up, eh? Been good. Boys are all cooking up. Yeah, cooking it up. There we are, Lake Crosby, right behind me again. Pretty much the same as Lake Hardy. It's completely dry, there's no water, but it is very muddy. I'm not even going to try to step in it like I did with Lake Hardy. Clean my boots up, but I don't want that again. So uh, we've got camp set up there for now. Luke's gone around to uh, the other side of the lake to see if that campground is a bit more protected from this wind. I'm sure you can hear. We've got like 50, 50 or 60 kilometer gusts, so it's not that bad. But we just like to set our camp up without everything flapping all over the place, you know. So other than that. I am going to have a pizza for dinner today, so I'll go go get the oven on, get that in. I got my beer, it's a fucking Tui's, because I know people won't stop giving me shit for drinking Tui's. Even those those people fucking drink four, probably drink 4X or BB or Corona or some shit like that. But, you know, looks like there's a bit of a storm there, but I think we'll be alright.
beautiful sunset. The wind started to die down. The galahs are chirping. It's cooling down. It's going to be a good night. Frosty morning here in Murray Sunset. Beautiful sunrise. Teen hand. Heading off to Mildura this morning, so. Should be a good one. Uh, there's a couple here that needed a bit of a jump, so see if we can uh, help them out. We managed to get them going, so that's good. You don't want to get stuck out here when there's no reception. So it's just a good thing if, if you see anyone who needs help out, out, you know, in remote places or whatever, it doesn't hurt to stop and at least ask them if they need a hand. You know, if you can't do anything to help them, you know, just check on them and see if they're all right. So yeah, so we're just leaving camp at Murray Sunset National Park. We camped at Lake Crosby, uh, which is great. Really, really nice. The winds stopped completely at night and it was a nice night quite cold it got down to just above zero so now we're going to head straight up to Mildura Wentworth and check out the surrounds and then find somewhere to camp tonight maybe somewhere with a shower because we all freaking stink it's not going to be a very long day today a few things to check out ah uh, yeah We're at the, we just stopped over at Wentworth, we're at the junction of the uh, the Murray River and the Darling River. So, up here on the lookout, here we go, the junction of the Murray and Darling. That's the Darling River there, and then that's the Murray through there. Bit of a change in colour right there. Uh, Perry Sand Hills, sand dunes, uh, just outside of Wentworth. Pretty awesome. The wind ripple effect. Should have brought my board, go for a bit of sandboarding, but yeah.
We're just here at a caravan park in uh, Kimiljura because we agreed we all need a shower because we friggin' stink. I'm um, heading down for a fish. Not getting my hopes up, but we'll see what happens. Yellow belly fly. Let's see if that gets me any results. You've got these massive, massive river red gums scattered all along the Murray River. Bloody enormous. These roots look like something out of Harry Potter. Unreal, man. Heading back towards, uh, we're on the leg back towards uh, Sydney now, so we're leaving Mildura. We camped at um, Apex Caravan Park yesterday. So today we're gonna head to Lake Mulwala to camp there, and then from there, shoot off home. I think we're gonna stop a few places on the way. We're gonna go go all the way back to Swan Hill, but we're gonna hug the, the Murray River all the way there. And then from Swan Hill, shoot off into New South Wales, take the back roads through to uh, Daniloquin and then onto Lake Mulwala. So it should be, yeah, it should be good. So yeah, just waiting for the other boys to get through all the traffic lights. Off to Lake Mulwala. So we've, uh, we've come down here to the Murrumbidgee and Murray River in a uh, junction, which is further down there, but we can't, couldn't get any further. Old mate Kieran tried to go through, ran into a bit of a mischief, had to snatch him out. So yeah, we couldn't couldn't get to where we wanted, but Ready, Kieran. So we've just um, gone and checked out the Murray River, Murrumbidgee River Junction where obviously the two rivers come together and, and, and meet um, and it was pretty incredible the contrast between the, uh, the really brown dirty water of the Murray compared to like the olive colour of the, the Murrumbidgee. I'm pretty sure they're the two longest rivers in Australia coming to meet together and uh, the Murrumbidgee River is, is just one of the most diverse rivers in all of Oz where it starts high up in the, the snowy mountains. I'm pretty sure its headwaters are like 16, 1700 meters above sea level. And it travels just through alpine bushland, you know, down through the mountains and then into the country, rural, and then finally out into the outback, flowing into the Murray. It's definitely been one of my favorite, if not my favorite river, especially for like trout fishing and stuff like that, because it's just, a, it's a beautiful river where it starts up in the mountains. It starts as just a small, really small river. It's, it's almost like a, a, a creek, if anything. Freezing cold water, but just a, an incredible river, so. That's 
Oh, and there's wood. Look how big that is just there. On the right. Where you reckon? I guess people there, but we can fit. Unless George wants to go up and have a look at the other place. I'll go up and check it out. I'll see what's there. Oh yeah, Kieran's heading in. It's still far enough away from these people so that we're not camped on top of them. Yeah, that was it. Sorry. Okay, we'll pull in. G'day, pal. Are you an evil swan or a good swan? Here in Lake Mawala, trying to find a good spot to fish. Camp's all set up, enjoy the night, no wind, looks pretty good. Uh, you gotta check this out, check this out. If that isn't one of the most beautiful sights you've ever seen, stunning. The sunset's all right as well, so it's not bad, you know, but. Thank you. 